Today, we will be looking at Matthew 6 verse 33 and see what is the kingdom of God and his righteousness and how we seek to obtain the previous part of Matthew 6 and that part can there is two types of kingdoms. The one is a spiritual kingdom and the one is a physical kingdom. Let us take a look at scripture and see the two kingdoms explained. Matthew 12 verse 38, but if it is by the spirit of God that I cast out the demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you before you expected it. Luke 11 verse 20, but if I drive out the demons by the finger of God, then the kingdom of God has already come upon you. Luke 10 to 9, and heal those in it who are sick, authenticating your message, and say to them, the kingdom of God has come near to you. Luke 17 verse 20 to 21, now having been asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, he replied, the kingdom of God is not coming with signs to be observed or with a visible display, nor will people say, look, here it is, or there it is, for the kingdom of God is among you because of my presence. So now we can see this kingdom of God that we have to seek is a spiritual kingdom, not a physical kingdom. So the question we have to ask is, how do we seek this kingdom and how do we obtain it? Again, we go back to the Bible and see what scripture says. Galatians 2 20. I have been crucified with Christ, that is, in him I have shared his crucifixion. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. Matthew 10 verse 38 to 39. And he who does not take his cross, expressing a willingness to endure whatever may come and follow, me believing in me, conforming to my example in living and, if need, be suffering or perhaps dying, because of faith in me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life in this world will eventually lose it through death, and whoever loses his life in this world for my sake will find it that is life with me for all eternity. John 12 24 Assure you and most solemnly say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies it, remains alone just one grain, never more, but if it dies, it produces much grain and yields a harvest. Christ wants us to die so that he can be raised in us, only when the me myself and I dies then, then the next will also happen. Mark 16 17. These signs will accompany those who have believed in my name. They will cast out demons, they will speak in new tongues, they will pick up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it will not hurt them, they will lay hands on the sick, and they will get well. And when the kingdom of God has come, you will be in the righteousness of God as explained in the Amplified Bible. Good morning, God. Good morning, God. Good morning.